So, 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 and bro, go, go, guys. So today we are going to be trying a recipe from one of my favorite, favorite creators here on YouTube. Her name is Living With Cutie Bevs. I will leave her link channel in the description. So also watch and learn, guys. This looks so good. Um, and I wanted to try it. It looked very interesting, too. I've never heard of it. So we're going to try it out. And it is the uh, banana burger. So you chop up some banana peels. You uh, boil them for a while, quite a while. And I, I boil them on for like 45 minutes before I clean and soak them. You do that with uh, water and baking soda. Like they said, to get the wax and stuff off of it. And then you boil it. All right, so that's what I did. And... Here's what she's looking like here. So I'm hoping I did a good job on that. And we're gonna try the ban uh, banana peel burger. So if you wanna see that, stay tuned. Now I'm gonna take two of the banana peels and I'm gonna just chop these up, all right? Now you don't need the hard things like she said, you don't need these. Just toss those. That's that four seasoning panko there. Love that panko. I also use a regular panko too. And you use an egg. So that's what we got. We have an egg in a bowl over here. Almost looks like yours, Beth. What you think? Because, <laughs> Beth, you made me do this. You know what's so funny? Because my boyfriend really doesn't try like new foods, but he said he wants to try it. So we're going to let him try it. take my food scraper i got this food uh dyson scraper thingy from the dollar tree guys i love this you just scrape up all your food on there all at one time as much as you can you see that so i'm gonna use that amount seasoning salt a little bit of seasoning salt okay taste. You add some black pepper. Okay. Get some garlic. Okay. Okay, that's what I'm using. Okay, and that should be good enough. And then we're gonna mix this egg in here. Okay. Away. I'm not. My hands are nice and clean. I'm going to mix with my hands. All right, guys. So this is what it's looking like here. And we're gonna use this Western uh, canola oil. Um, I like canola oil. No matter what brand it is, I just like canola oil better. That looks right, Beth. What do you got? What do you think? Oops. Touch. Okay. We're gonna let the pan heat up. We shall be back. All right, guys. So I put it in the pan. So we're gonna see what it do. Okay, guys. And we use some Hawaiian bread. I already ate one the other day. It tastes so good. I love Hawaiian bread. Now, juicy the regular one that says sweet one, but this one um, I'm going to be tasting on, on camera, but I like this one also. It's the uh, savory butter rolls. I like this one also. This one's good too. Let's see what it's doing. Okay. Let's make sure she's frying that. Okay. All right, Beth, what you guys think over there, huh? This is what she's looking like. She definitely looks like a burger. So they weren't lying when it says it either. When, when I think his name is Rob. I'm hoping I'm saying his name right. Beth, if I'm wrong, if you're watching this, please leave it in the comments. Um, it looks like a burger. <laughs> so I just got to flip it over. It feels meaty also. Like when you know when you push a burger down like that, it feels meaty. It doesn't feel like it's crumbled up. It feels meaty. I'm gonna wash my hands um, so I can touch the burger itself. 
Oh yeah, sort of kind of like, it feels like a, a pancake almost type of texture, but looks like a burger. If you get what I'm saying. <laughs> if you get what I'm saying, it feels like a pancake, a pancake type of texture when you touch it like that. And I love pancakes, guys. Love pancakes. Love living with KT Bev's uh, content. Um, she all, not only does she cook, she does a lot of other things. She coupons, and she does a lot of other home um, activities and things like that. Also, she does, if I didn't mention, she does have a channel with her family, and it's called the Grow Family Network. Go check them out. I will leave both links in the comments below, I mean, in the description below, guys, okay? Looks like one so far, guys. So you can see the other side and see what it looks like because they both look delicious. See that? Now, um, I'm going to touch this in. Now, you know what this texture feels like? You know those sausage patties? That's what they feel. This texture feels like. So, we're definitely going to turn the stove off now. That looks so delicious, guys. So delicious. I cannot wait to taste this. You know, guys, how can we forget the cheese? We need cheese. We need cheese. Can't make a good burger. Oh, my God, that smells so good. I can't wait to bite into it. I'm hoping that smells delicious, guys. Let me get plastic away from that stove. So I'm just going to take one slice of cheese. I'm just going to take one slice and break it in half. I mean, I'm just going to put the whole thing on there. I'm going to let that melt for a minute. All right, guys. Okay, cheese is melted the way I like. Now we're going to start putting some mayo, and we're going to do some ketchup. And then we're going to have me and my boyfriend. We're going to check this out, guys. All right, guys, we're back. So we're going to be trying this banana burger, all right? So, um, like I said, the texture from just the touch feels like I want a pancake or a sausage. We're gonna put on these little pieces of the bread. And I'll show you guys what it looks like in the middle. So this is what it looks like. Definitely looks like a hamburger or one of those sausage patties. Boyfriend's gonna tell you what it tastes like himself. So if he likes it, like I said, he really doesn't like new things. <laughs> you see the face? It's gonna give you the honest opinion. It tastes like meat. Tastes like meat, but let's see. Tastes like meat, but I'm going to stick to the meat. Okay, well, <laughs> to him, he'll stick to the meat. Okay. Go. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. It tastes like meat. I got you guys like crooked. It tastes like meat. It tastes like meat. Um, if I was vegan or a vegetarian, whatever, you know, float to boat, I would definitely eat this. This is really good. Almost like a burger. Yeah, it's really good. And also, it's like a, when it's a texture in your mouth, you could, it almost tastes like a soft egg, like fry, um, what do you call it, scrambled egg. Yeah. So, yeah. Babs, this was okay in my book. Thank you very much for this recipe. Really good. I'll try it again. I really, really enjoyed it. And maybe I'll add more breadcrumb in it to make it a little thicker, too. Um, I try to add as much breadcrumb as where it wouldn't be so thick, but maybe I'll try that again. So, thank you, Bev. Everyone go watch. Little, I'm living with Kitty Bevs, and I'll leave her link in the description. Also, her family channel is the Grow Family Network, and I'll leave that, uh, excuse me, channel also in the description below too. Let's grow together so we can eat together.